Welcome to Sixth Sense and Beyond. I'm your host, Christina Andrianopoulos. And I'm your co-host, Catherine Glass, Psychic Medium. We are going to have such a spectacular show again tonight. Thank you for joining us. I know you have lots of selections out there, but when you tune in to us every Tuesday night, we're thrilled, aren't we? We are, and you never know what's going to happen. I know, because we have some great guests today, and one of our guests is Patricia Brooks. Tell us a little bit about Patricia. Patricia Brooks is a woman after my own heart. I felt a kinship with her immediately, when not only when I spoke to her, but when I read her book, of course. Um, her message is one of love and hope and um, opening the heart. It's just an amazing, amazing book. I'm very excited to get to it. And it's great because she's a single mom. She has two daughters. They live in Connecticut. So we can all relate to her and the way she took her gift yes. and how she's expanded on it. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be great. And then every episode we have our psychic challenge. So grab your pencil and paper and let's get you tuned into your intuition and, and you'll have an opportunity to do that. Yep. And in our psychic um, tips. tips today, we're going to teach you how to work the weather so that you can make it work for your life. You're kidding. You, you mean like, let's say someone has a wedding or a special event right. and they're forecasting rain yeah and you don't want it to rain because it's outdoors so you work with nature to change that yeah. you'll see oh you can't miss that one because I mean maybe like when there's a Super Bowl maybe people can all do that together right <laughs> well, maybe the maybe. planet will be a mess if everyone's working the weather I that's know. true we'll I know but anyway this will be a great psychic tip I'm, I can't wait to learn how to do that yeah. as well at least move the clouds for a little while right <laughs> right great and so also we cannot do this without our sponsors mm. thank you so much Julia's liquors spirit, spirit meets spirit, spirit. Barrett. We love Brian and his whole crew there. Yes, and then Healing Essence Center. Healing Essence Center, yes, in West Concord, Massachusetts. It's a holistic health center with acupuncture and Ayurveda and readings and all kinds of modalities. That's great. And also, thank you so much for medical aesthetics to keep us looking beautiful and healthy and yep. refreshed. So thank you so much also. And Kristen. Oh, Kristen. Thank you so much, Kristen. He's now with... Akuri Moda on June Street in the fashionable west side of Worcester and you make us all look like movie stars. <laughs> Thank you very much. And you know what? Let's just go right into the show. Okay. I'm very excited. So we have our guest right here with us. Today we have Patricia Brooks, author of this wonderful book, God is in the Little Things. And Patricia, um, as I said in the introduction of you, um, I really felt such a connection to you from the heart when I read your book and spoke with you on the phone and how down to earth you are and your story is so just for everyone. It, it, you're a spiritual teacher and um, an angel communicator and a beautiful author who told me when we talked that she really was never a writer. I'm gonna let you tell your story but it's just it's a fabulous book. Everyone should get it. Oh thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm so excited to be here. That's great. And I remember how you got in touch with me. You communicated with me. First of all, you have new le newsletters, and then I subscribe to it. And I love your website, which, as you speak throughout this interview, pops up. Yeah. Um, God, God is in all the small things, little things? God is in the little things com. Oh, that's yep. great. That's wonderful. Yeah. So tell us your story. Yes. Oh, my story. Well, um, my story, and speaking of my website, up until less than a year ago, actually until June, I was a computer science high school teacher. So I've done my own website, that's all my own work, because just as with everything else, all of our events in our life prepare us for where we're supposed to be. But um, a couple years ago, you know, I was married, you know, traditional soccer mom, two kids, I have a daughter in college, a daughter in high school. And um, so the story is the story of basically my marriage falling apart, divorce, mm -hmm. and the emotional aftermath. and how I really came to understand my spiritual truth, my spiritual self through the, through the pain and through the hurt. Okay, so I'm gonna stop you there for a second and just reiterate how these lessons in our lives, these events, the lesson is overused, we talked mm -hmm. about that. These events, these experiences in our lives, they do have a divine purpose. There is a divine order to it. So, right. so people, you know, I see a lot of clients who are, you know, very, very distraught when they come to me for a reading or an energy healing, and they feel that they're, you know, at, at the end of the road or something, and why is this happening to me? And so I just want to point out that from this comes, births this beautiful soul path. Oh, absolutely. And this message to the world. Absolutely. I mean, it's really funny to speak of that, but today would have been my 22nd wedding wedding anniversary. Wow. I realized it's that, not a coincidence. <laughs> I realized that driving here to yeah. be on your television show. Wow. You know, how cool is that? Can I ask you something from 
a, you know, a non really good intuitive. I'm pretty good, but not that good. But so when you were going through this this hardship right. and and this broken heart, you didn't think. I mean, did you know that you were going to like come out of this doing what you're doing, communicating oh, with angels? Not. And absolutely not. No, I, you know. The divorce, and the, I talk about it in the book, I mean, I'm really honest, and the pain that I went through, and it wasn't even just the breakup of the marriage, but what happened was, it, it what happened is that all these old wounds that I had resurfaced, I didn't even realize I had all these issues about mm -hmm. self-love and self-worth came up, and, and it was really, really hard. I mean, I talk about being knocked to my knees, and it was when I was on my knees that I said, you know, I always believed in God. I was raised Roman Catholic. Um, and I just reached out and said, I can't do this. I can't do this. You have to, you have to help me. And, um, and you know, I think it really, it, what happens is that obviously God is always with us. Our angels are always with us. Our guides are with us. You know, the, the connection is there, but we're just not paying attention. That's you right. know, we're just so busy right. doing, right. doing, doing that we don't, we're never being. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's funny, we're human beings and we don't human ever doings. be. We, we should be called human doings, <laughs> that's exactly, because that's what yeah. we do. We mm -hmm. always do. Especially in the West. Uh, the Western culture. Right. It's crazy, right? So once I think what happens, and I don't think we have to go through trauma to realize our spiritual truths, I think it's just that something has to catch our attention. Mm -hmm. And and I really hope through, you know, we talked about the shift and, and, and putting the message out there about the connection and the oneness, that other people maybe don't have to be so hurt. Maybe they can achieve their spiritual truths through joy. You know, yes. to just being awake and aware of their spiritual truth. That's great. I so think let's we're make, moving toward that. Yeah, I think that's we're what doing. The world that's is our mission: toward. opening the spiritual world to the world right. that right. You, we don't have to reach a bottom in order to right. crawl out of it anymore. Because right. right. we that's are an spiritual old paradigm. Being. That's exactly. shifting. Exactly, exactly. Catherine. It is. And so th th you heard it here. You don't have to wait to hit the bottom. No. You can just start shifting the way you think and the awareness and that's why we do psychic tips and that's why right. we right. bring guests on like you so people can relate to it. So tell us how it shifted for you. And, and tell us the sum of the message of the book. <laughs> exactly. Well, the book so is beautiful. told through, okay, so well, let me just say this before I start. The book is told told through animal totems. Animals vis visited me very physically and animal totems, the belief is that animals energetically, whether it's God or the angels energetically communicating or the divine spirit through the animals or the animals mm -hmm. communicating with us and giving us messages. And it's a, it's a very old truth and belief. We can go way back to ancient times and mm -hmm. civilizations for you know centuries have believed it. We just somehow seem to have forgotten Even in it. the Bible, it was, I believe it was a lion that came and talked to somebody. Absolutely, and, you know, so. absolutely right. So we're not saying anything that is, is new. You know, we haven't created anything. So we're just, we're just rediscovering, mm -hmm. you know, truths that have been with us all the time. Mm -hmm. So um, so the animals, it's very interesting because the animals had visited me for a few years, but it wasn't until I really started really allowing and opening up and, and asking for guidance. You know, I, we talked about the word, I don't like the word in, ask, I like the word invite. You know, inviting the guidance, inviting the angels, inviting and the God and the messages right. to, to, to be with me and help me and help me to see. Because I knew that, as you said, you know, I hit bottom, what do I do? And I knew there was more. I just didn't know what it was yet. Now, and there's a section of the book, I have to, for the viewers here, hopefully this won't happen in your life this way. She got hit upside the head by a certain <laughs> animal totem, the bat. And wow. there's a story in the book of how a bat came into her bedroom, not once, but twice, flying around. Three wake, times. Three times. Like a real bat? A real bat. While she's asleep, in her bedroom, wings Tell rushing me by what her the face. odds of right. that are. Right. Big well, message. And the, ex <laughs> and the first one, it took three times until I finally said, okay, you hear from me, message? I'm getting it. Okay, I, I give in. Um, the the bat, the very first time the bat visited me, it was actually flittering above my face. I could feel something on my face. Wow. And we talked about children. My children were very small. So, you know, if anybody has children, they know that when they're very small, you know, you're very tired. Yeah. And whenever I was sleeping, if I knew it wasn't my kids calling me, I didn't want to get up. I'm right. like, whatever it is, can't be that important. It's not my <laughs> kids. I don't want to get out of bed. Mm -hmm. But I felt this thing fluttering on my face, and I was like, well, that's just weird. And it's just too big to be a moth. Like, <laughs> what's so I knew that I had to turn the light on. But I had never, honest to God, never in a million years that wow. I think that I was turn the light on. And I thought it was a bird. It was like two o'clock in the morning. I, it right. never occurred to me to be a bat. Right. So I flipped on the light. I freaked out. I ran out of the room, slammed the door, and started yelling to my then husband, there's a bird in the room. Get up, get up. And, and um, he's like, it's not a bird. And I was like, 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me because <laughs> I was terrified. When I tell you bats, I was terrified. I was terrified of bats. Sure. So three times, the bat was the most persistent message for me. And just very, very quickly, the, the message of a bat is rebirth and promise after change. Mm -hmm. And Like Batman. Ooh, like I Batman. I never that thought was about it like that. Yeah. That's Whole right. Fa fiction, fiction Isn't that of fascinating? There's so much of our of our spiritual essence just interwoven in all aspects of our lives, and yeah. we don't even know. We yeah, don't even know this, right? But when you pay attention, which is the message, one of the messages of your book, when we pay attention, pay attention to the little things, right. right? There's so much beauty, joy, love, connection, absolutely. oneness. Oh, absolutely! And, and you're here to remind us also, because yeah. that's a lot of us. Just as you said, we just go and go, and we don't be. We're mm -hmm. not be. Right. right. Yes. Right. And that is, I know, my my entire life shifted. You know, February. I, I talk about it in my book. I had two very spirit, very specific spiritual communications. Um, mm -hmm. I believe from God. One told me chapter by chapter what to write, and the next one gave me the title. Wow. And I'm not an author. I was a computer science teacher. I started writing last February. It hasn't even been a year. I wrote most of the book in four days. In a couple months, it was to the publisher. In wow. June, I quit my job, and and now I my quit her job. I, you know. So I that's, just, that's the little right. dismission. Fearlessly right. moving forward with total faith. That's right. great. Right? I can't do anything else. I'm so I proud can't. of you. And yeah. this, you're you're an inspiration to everybody out there. People that are stuck and miserable in their jobs, absolutely. feeling like victims. You know, absolutely. Well, I believe what I've learned, what I've remembered, right? Because we already know what I've remembered, mm -hmm. is that I am a powerful spiritual being, and I mm -hmm. and I want everybody to know that and I and I try to show up try because we still have the human ego wrapped around us but right. I remind myself all the time to show up as a spiritual being and to come from a place of spirit and then what can I do that's right what can I do potential yeah. one of us. the other thing I like about your message is that try to see the spiritual being in other people too so right. remember we we're talking about that mm -hmm. that if you're mad at someone or your spouse or your child and you're angry at them and you hold this grudge or a sister or a brother and you don't talk to them, mm -hmm. try to soften it up by seeing the spiritual being Well, in from them. there comes compassion. Com right? Exactly. When you witness each other as the God that's in you is in them, there's compassion and right. then there's a connection. And when we remember, you know, you talked about before, like, why does this happen to me coming from a place of victim? When we remember, truly remember that we can't be victims mm -hmm. because we choose to come here and we don't like the word lesson, so I like the word experience. We're mm -hmm. here to have our experiences. Mm -hmm. And you know, you talked about newsletters, I write for different articles now, and one of the ones I just wrote talked about in the experience is the emotion, and in the emotion is the gift, because mm -hmm. that's what we're here to experience. We're here to feel, to we're feel. here to feel. That's right. And we can't feel without the experience. Okay. So I look back now on my 22nd wedding, and would have been wedding anniversary, with gratitude because the gifts that I have received um, through the pain, but when you can look at the pain and say, what's the opportunity in here? There's something, this has shown up for me for a reason. Yes. What's that reason? Where is the opportunity? Right. Then it, it, everything shifts. And let's hope that your book brings to the world, not everyone's going to go down the exact same path, right. obviously, but right. it will bring them that peace, that calm, that knowing that there is divine purpose here, there's divine order right. in all the experiences I've had, negative and positive, and where can I right. unfold from there? And I like that also because there's uh, so many different ways to look at your higher power and your spirit guides mm -hmm. and your spirituality, and then you're very clear that it's God that's giving you the message, and so you're telling people who are religious who might say poo-poo, you know, the spiritual aspect of it, that no, it's God who's speaking through me. Right. And I believe this, yeah. right. And so if we choose to see that higher being as God, you have chosen that. Mm -hmm. And it's whoever's speaking through us. It, it's beautiful and pure and right. wonderful. And to be shared. And why must be shared. We must. It that's must why we shared. have a TV show. That's why we're here. <laughs> and and just, just quickly, you know, you're mentioning that. You, I don't you know, I'm going to be ordained in June as an interfaith minister. That's wonderful. And, um, and we believe, you know, if we speak for the interfaith community, that we're all saying the same thing. Right. You know, Absolutely. so with whatever are name. Many. Truth is one. Exactly. Yep. So whatever really name. Believing. So Patricia Brooks, yes. thank you. We can have the whole show on you. So would you help us with our psychic <laughs> challenge? Sure, it's time for and, and as you were speaking, <laughs> your um, 
website where they know where they can get your books and also I was it's visiting my mom and my mom has Alzheimer's and she's wonderful and I just said it's my turn to bring the psychic challenge items so I just went through the house where I grew up and I picked these up so Catherine has picked one of these I have no idea so it's Patricia has this beautiful brass urn Mm -hmm. Catherine has this beautiful Asian style. Can you imagine this is in my mother's house? Asian style <laughs> vase. And of course, the Greek vase, too. Mm -hmm. So, Catherine's picked one of these. Let's mm -hmm. all tune in together. I, ha I don't know what she picked, and give it a few minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. So, which one did Catherine pick? Hmm. Got it. <laughs> okay, so I picked something. Did you get something, Patricia? Mm -hmm. All right, did you get something? Good. Well, you know what? We're going to come back after the next uh, segment and you'll be able to see if you were right in tune. And if not, Catherine will give you some suggestions on how to become more in tune. So thanks very much, Patricia. We love you. We'll have you back again. Thanks for your great you. heartwarming story. Yes, and, and get this book. Yes, a great. God is in the little things. Absolutely, <laughs> thank you. I'm and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Now I'm going to do my psychic reading for our lucky brave volunteer. <laughs> Today I'm going to be reading Anne. Thank you, Anne, Thank for you coming for on me. to our show and jumping in for the reading. Um, so Anne, uh, basically, I'm going to just, just go. I'm going to see what spirit has to give to you a message. And you did have a question about career, so we'll be addressing your career in this reading. And any questions that come up, feel free to ask them if there's time, okay? okay. All right. So the first thing um, spirit wants, to, wants you to know is bravo. Um, you're on track, it's time, you're coming out of a different persona or a shell of sorts, so to speak. Um, as I take in your energy, I feel that um, around you is a lot of strength and power, and I don't think this came by particularly easily over the course of your life. I see that you have, um, in fact, I feel that there is, now you might disagree with this because of who you know yourself to be on the outside, but there is a shy person in there. <laughs> There's a shy person yes, that is true, who's very, very sensitive and um, and quite private. However, you also are are blossoming into, and I don't know how long you've been in this other place energetically, but I also see that there's a very strong, centered, powerful leader here. And you have, over the years of your life, I'd say in the last seven years maybe, have come really come into more into your powerful leadership self, your persona of power. And um, there's, all I know is that you're going to be, first of all, we know you're an author. Yes, I am. Um, and has written two novels, is that right? I have uh, one that's coming out, um, that one that's, it is out, it's right. called Betrayed, and the other one might be, the sequel will be coming out in April, hopefully. Fabulous. So she's already got two books, or one on the burner and one that's come out right. and published. Because what I'm seeing is many more to come, like you're just beginning, and, and it'll be up to you how long you want to have a career as a writer, but I think um, so much of this has been, you know, percolating throughout your life and you, and I feel there was a time in your life where you didn't, you didn't even contemplate this. This wasn't even, or maybe the, this angle of it Absolutely coming out. Not. You're just I like, am. what? Yeah. And it has to be born. Um, very similar to the guest we had on today who was told she's going to write books, and she said, I'm not a writer. Um, your soul light, your essence, is going to help many, many people through your books. And your books are fictional, and yet so many people are going to be able to really just eat them up and get into them and resonate with them and give them inspiration as well and I hope so. intrigue. I hope so. And I see you talking, you're going to be giving talks, you're going to be traveling because of this um, wonderful shift in your life. And I also want to say that um, Spirit is telling me that y your children, um, I don't know if you have girls or boys, but I feel a very strong female energy w with some of them. Do you have any girls? I have one girl. My then the girl one. in particular, you're a very big role model for and mm. she is going to be doing something very mm, powerful and similar out in the world especially her she's the one I pick up on the most oh, good. Um, do you have any questions Shake no going? no keep on okay, going okay okay um, I'm suddenly shown an image of a boat and the water I don't know if this is uh, metaphorical or literal but there is something coming up for you in the summertime um, where you will be, it feels like a working... Close to the water, maybe. Yes, uh, or a working vacation, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, something to do with your writing, but also uh, um, getting your book out into the public and 
somewhere near the water. And I even see like a cruise ship possibly. So mm -hmm. I don't know if that's related, but. Well, I have a home in Canada and it's close to the water. And okay. I have a lot of family and friends Do you there. do writing there? Yes, I do. You do sit because yes, there's going to be another book born there for sure. Oh. And it may even be this summer a new idea, which will be the third book. I see eight for sure. Oh, eight excellent. books. Excellent. So it's probably going to be either series of, you know, twos and twos and twos, or two and then three. But either way, you got a lot of work ahead of you, lady. Oh, my God. <laughs> and thank you for sharing your gift with the world. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thanks for coming on. Yes, thank you. And if you'd like to come onto our show and have a reading, write to sixcentsandbeyond.com and you can come be my guest. Let's make a Welcome back, Catherine. You are so fantastic. That is so right on. That is Thank great. You. Thank you, Christine. And, and Anne is such a good sport to have been doing an on And remember, it's not me. It comes through me. Yes, it's, it's true. And if you want readings at sixcentsandbeyond.com, readings at sixthcentsandbeyond.com, and you are welcome to write in, and maybe you'll be a lucky person we pick to yeah. be on. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we did the psychic challenge. So those who weren't, pay, weren't there and have another chance to do it. Catherine picked one of these three. And it's either the Greek urn, the Asian vase, or the brass. And I sent picture. out my energy into the object. So she'll do it again. So go ahead and try guys to pick on it. Pick which one I'm focusing on. Okay. So hang on to that. Don't change your mind. So if you picked the brass urn, then you were correct. And that's what ding, Catherine ding, picked. Ding, 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 ding. Right. And so <laughs> I I had, what I had light. done was I picked, I first wanted to pick that and then I switched to this and I shouldn't have switched because I should have stayed with that because I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when I walked in and saw them, I actually was going to do this one first. So uh, maybe you picked you up on that. You sent messages through yep. and it wasn't fair. Right. <laughs> okay, now it's time for our psychic tips. Yes, we love doing and psychic tips. And we today are going to learn how to work the weather. So I have a wonderful teacher that I studied with named Sharon Turner and she taught us this technique and I want to give her full credit because it's an awesome thing. So hold on, Catherine is not a meteorologist. No, I'm not. But she's <laughs> teaching us this tip Neither and are I want to hear it too because I'm planning some parties coming yep. up and I want to make sure the weather is good. So, so when you have an event that's important to you, like a day that needs to have a certain kind of weather that you want, either a snowstorm for closing school or um, a wedding and you, it's outdoors and you want it to be sunny and you want to change the weather forecast or work the weather forecast to ensure it, here's what you do. You close your eyes, you sit in a chair and take some deep breaths and you make a rainbow and use your hand. Rainbow is Roy G. Biv, right? So we do the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blue, the indigo and the violet. And then hold your thought of intention of pure love onto this rainbow. You're sending all your love into this rainbow and you're going to give this rainbow as a gift to the nature spirits so that they can use it whenever they want, however they like, because you want to make an offering in return for this favor that you're asking for the weather, okay? So you offer the rainbow up to the nature spirits and you say, if it be for the highest good Please, I would love for it to um, hold the rain off that's forecast for at least the next 12 hours, for example, till 8 o'clock the following evening, or however you want it to be. I tell you guys, I taught my son this and, because he plays baseball, and he wanted the weather to work, and he did it, and every time it worked. Wow. So if you are sincere, yep. it's not woo-woo. It's simply communicating. We are all right. part of nature. It's communicating with the nature spirits and asking for their support. You can shift the weather to work in your favor if right. it's for the highest good, and if it doesn't have Happen, it's because the nature spirits decided no. So all <laughs> those who have weddings coming up and baseball outdoor, games, baseball games and outdoor activities, yep. this is a tip that you can just apply. Yep. Remember the rainbow, putting make the rainbow, beauty put light. love into the rainbow, mm -hmm. offer it to the nature spirits, and say, if it's in the highest good, please shift the weather for me. And you watch miracles happen. Well, I have a couple of good dates that I'm going to do it up. Okay, so you get good. working at it. You tell yeah, me how it goes. I will. I will. <laughs> so and we'll come back and tell you. But thank you so much for watching us, Christina Andrew, and and Catherine Glass and on Six Cents and Beyond and thanks to all our sponsors Julio's Liquors, Spirit Meets Spirit and mm -hmm. Healing Essence Center. Yep. Yes and also Medical Aesthetics, Christian Ray who's now with a curry moda thank you so much for making us all look like celebrities and watch my other show on thursday night city vibes metro every 9 30 and stop and talk to us i love yes, people who talk people to us say hi I we love, love it, it. Yeah. with staples any place you see me or or catherine yeah. just stop and say hello and tell us that's it 
Okay. Okay. Thanks so, so much. So, you know, I have a loving month, have a loving night, have a loving week, have a loving everything. <laughs> have Just a loving life. Be in love. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Let's make a soul connection. Soul to soul.